the strongest teachers should be at the very early years because that's when you want to make the greatest impact on the children's language development in the school setting. But also you have to have very strong uh, parental facilitator, someone that works with the families to help guide them, to give them ideas on how to work with the children at home, how to support the goals of the program in the home. And they don't have to be um, coming to the school all the time. They can do outreach with computers, they can do outreach with family activities and things like that. So that facilitator is going out and working with the families at home or in the school setting. So it can be a combination of those. But you also have to have a very strong school-wide presence in a dual language program because if it is truly a 50-50 model and they're with me, for example, in that Spanish and then we go to the library, I expect that librarian to deliver the Spanish part of that instruction to these students because that's my Spanish time. And any less of that dilutes my Spanish instruction to those students. Likewise, if they're going in the English part to the library, then the library should be able to sustain that language learning growth in English. So it's a team effort in the school, whether it's the counselor, the librarian, working with the nurse, the cafeteria, the, the physical education staff, wherever those children are going to go, they need to be very aware of that language delivery model to stay true to it. But also the administration needs to be very supportive, the principal, the assistant principal, in uh, developing the support of curriculum and materials and resources that are crucial to delivering that. If I don't have Spanish books and, and, and songs and music and things like that to, to work with the children, it's very hard to deliver that instruction. So it, it's a, a team effort to be able to deliver a highly um, qualified staff and instruction to these students.